Was the official release date of Halo Infinite leaked on Microsoft's website? Possibly, and why this date seems to be lining up rather accurately, so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving our news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. It really lets me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe people to keep yourself in the know. But yes, we do know that the official time frame that's been announced by 343 is Holiday 2020. That was confirmed this month in December by the Halo Infinite development update, which we've gone in extensive depth over, guys, on this channel. So if you're new to the channel, if you want to stay up to date, again, like I said, just make sure you subscribe to the channel, people. In the development update, they talked a lot about the graphic improvements that they're happening with Halo Infinite, a little bit about the multiplayer as well, some screenshots and some customization and how Halo Infinite is looking to interact with its player base moving forward. Well, surprisingly, recently, there was actually a leak of an update of Halo Infinite's actual release date, the official actual release date happening, people. And it said that Halo Infinite's release date reportedly leaked for an hour on Microsoft's homepage. And here's the image right here. You can see, yeah, it's, it's a picture of some guy, you know, taking a picture with his phone on his monitor and stuff like that. But, you know, this does look rather legit. And you can see when you zoom in, it says coming November 15th to Xbox Game Pass. Now, there's something more to the date of November 15th for Halo's franchise as a whole when it comes to that date in 2021. That marks the 20th anniversary of the Halo franchise, the initial release on the Xbox way back in 2001. The game that defined a shooter generation and the game that put the Xbox platform on the market is looking to hopefully do the same 20 years later with the Xbox Series X and S. And looking back at this image, it does specifically mention only Xbox Series X and S in this promotional image. Now, this probably is just more just them trying to advertise more about people to push towards buying that console. I don't think they'd really want to push people to buy Xbox Ones or that family of consoles when you obviously have the brand new hardware you want to push for. I've seen some people speculate that it's not coming out on Xbox One anymore. I can guarantee you that's not going to happen unless something crazy happens towards the end of this year where they just see maybe a general trend of people switching from Xbox Ones to Series Xs. I think it kind of depends on the sales. But right now, I think the Halo Infinite is full steam ahead to release on the Xbox One, which you know we've seen from the issues that Cyberpunk has had on their last gen hardware platforms that, yeah, like those platforms really struggle to run new gen games. It's just straight up, that's the truth. And it's interesting to see how 343 is gonna compensate putting the Halo Infinite game on the Xbox One, because uh, from the gameplay trailer that we saw, they played that on a PC that was supposed to emulate the Xbox Series X. And even on a PC, which, you know, Cyberpunk for comparison has been running rather well, I mean, some bugs here and there, but for the most part, rather enjoyable experience, at least from my end of things. For Halo Infinite to have that many graphical issues on a PC really makes me concerned about how this game is going to run on the Xbox One and how Infinite is going to be possibly held back because of that hardware, but you know, we'll have to wait and see. Now, the reason why I feel like this date is going to happen for Halo Infinite's release date coming on November 15th, one, because yes, it matches up with the 20th anniversary of Halo being released on the Xbox, but Bonnie Ross also hinted at this release date as well. She retweeted the original development update of Halo Infinite that we saw on Twitter back on December 8th. Well, Bonnie Ross replied to that, Tweet from Joseph Staten saying, so proud of the work this team has accomplished and looking forward to sharing more soon. Fall of 2021. Hmm, doesn't someone have an anniversary coming up? And she would be absolutely correct and I think this would line up properly. Now, this does make it so that Halo Infinite would release on a Monday, which typically game releases either happen on Tuesdays, but they've been recently happening on Fridays as well. And it's been kind of, you know, playing out just fine for I think for a lot of people, sometimes Thursdays as well. But I think that people are kind of leaving that traditional release time frames when it comes to video games because of the way the digital marketing is now that you don't have to coordinate a specific date like you would typically expect for other game releases. But I could totally see Halo Infinite releasing on that Monday of November 15th just to line up exactly with 
the 20th anniversary of Halo. You can probably make a big thing about that too. And also it's just right in that pocket of a perfect time frame to release such a massive game like Halo Infinite. And then probably by that time would be a lot easier to find an Xbox Series console as well. There might be some kind of package deal you can go along with that. Probably teaming up with maybe some Black Friday deals as well that happen later on in that month as well. It would just work really well for the Halo franchise to release on that date. But yes, even though this leaked image is like a picture of a monitor taken from a phone and it's kind of at a weird angle and like, yeah, it could be anything, but it's just everything seems to line up properly for this release date to actually happen. Plus this was taken down as well. So if it was only up there for like an hour on the Microsoft webpage saying that November 15th, Halo Infinite, get yourself ready for it. I honestly kind of think this might be the worst kept secret possible, but just some more Halo Infinite news to share with you guys to kind of let you know that the official release date's looking to be in November. So keep your eyes glued to the news when it comes to that stuff. If anything else happens with Halo Infinite, guys, I'll let you know on this channel as well. So make sure you subscribe. If you're new to the content or miss anything from me recently, check out the videos on the screen. I linked to all my news and informational videos so you've been on the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.